Okay, welcome back to part two. Um, we are still at the main, on top of the main base, and uh, looking at the train station, the main base train station west, where is still a lot of activity, and it's going to be daylight again. And I don't try to fall. Um, I made a little bit of a mess by putting my train here near the exit of this train station on top of the loop which is like the real way around this nice uh, mountain top so today we will go to the aluminium factory which I will do now and unblock that train there which is a little bit mad at me because I blocked him Let's go to the left here. Uh, there should be a train coming, but you never know. Nice view of the main base here still. Uh, go right, go left. Yeah, and then we go up again. It's nice when doing a tour and it becomes foggy, so you cannot see anything, but okay. So that building over there is my second coal plant and I built it on top of that cliff just for the looks and that building th over there is the battery storage um, let's go left here for now to my parking spot so this is the aluminium factory let's view that first didn't rename this station So yeah, let's start from the beginning, where we get bauxite. Which is then transferred to the top floor. And we recreate these um, Aluminium pollution, which is always a bit tricky. There are a lot of tricks going on here. Because, as you know, this factory also has a secondary product, which is the aluminium solution, which I store here as a buffer. But if this is full, I'm not sure if it's full, it's full. If it's full, this one stops producing silica, which sucks, of course. Then this thing is using solutions. So they are basically, I basically added them more as a counter act, right? So, but this needs to be able to output the water. It's a little bit busy here. So, 
what I did is I created this control panel like this valve at secondary well be because the the scrap factory produces water right a part of the water is coming from there but the rest is coming from those fuel pumps over there and then transferred to the um, to the aluminium solution silica refineries so the problem is if one of the as, as I said if one of those gets very full the production stopped so I added this machine like normal um, so these switches they go to two awesome sinks and basically what they do is they can purge the aluminium scrap or they can purge the silica if everything works they both should be on and there's nothing to do it's in balance but sometimes when the aluminium buffer gets empty which is this buffer here it means we need to turn on the silica but turn off the scrap to get it in balance again to get more silica in it because um, yeah then the other thing is the buffer if it's full turn off the silica production just let this run and then this will consume the silica so the water uh, can be gone basically but uh, yeah for it's it's now running fine so I don't have to do anything basically it's more like if you add something and the process gets stuck you can just change it with these things um, you also see that there is like two lights there if I turn it off you will see a light goes off which indicates the the awesome sink is turned off so as you can see let's go up not using the stairs here are they I made them pink so I know it's like only used for keeping the whole system in balance so some of the scrap is used of course but everything that is too much it goes to the awesome sink just so there's a constant uh, consumption of the silica of the of the silica solution or aluminia solution um, so yeah on this floor we are making aluminium ingots which you need a lot of then one floor up these aluminium ingots are used for aluminium casings which you also need a lot and also like the aluminium sheets is needed there's copper coming and this copper is actually coming from the train station which is over here here's the train station so one train brings copper one train gets all the aluminium stuff that I create here and yeah carries it to the main base so this is the aluminium train station here there's a second base which makes aluminium solu uh, how do you say it I mean I mean um, oops don't fall there's another thing that makes silica right uh, same principle because I didn't have enough so I had to create another uh, base basically the same idea but I didn't bother 
in making a cultural panel for it. And then it gets transferred over these walkways that I created everywhere. A part of the silica is also being used in the battery factory, which we go to now. So free battery factories. Uh, they basically all go to their own uh, wagon and each wagon is unloaded at its own station. You see like this tube, it's coming from the nuclear factory where we make nuclear rods and stuff. So this is the station. I made them red, blue and black. It's also pretty busy here. So this is how the battery factory looks from the outside. can take a look at the power the coal power factory over here Oop, there are some nuclear waste here but this is the bridge same principle here get your water high up don't have to bother about pumps But this is how it looks like from the inside. Enough coal it looks like. There's also like a secret cave in this building. I hope there are no enemies there. Maybe there are. I didn't come here for a long time, so... Oh, yeah, there's a spider. Let's go back. <laughs> I don't want to die. And another floor. I think, yeah, this is the last floor. The bridge and a loop. This goes to the other aluminium factory. Which looks a little bit nicer than this one.
Can I jump on the train? No. Not in time. Okay, let's see if I can be earlier than the other train. Okay, so I'm going to make a small roundabout. So we can go to the nuclear part. In the distance you can see the main base. to my own parking stop pot. Here is the new refinery station west. There are also two stations here. This is one of the stations where the um, where the batteries unloads, and it's used for for the drones that we have up here. Oh, it's very nuclear here, and no power. So here are. Nuclear rods being created, or uranium rods, and this is why there's a drone. But the drone is about to land, which is nice. But the drone takes everything, all the uranium rods, to the nuclear power plants, which are over there. We will visit them soon. So most of this is all for making nuclear stuff. So we have the uranium cells here. They go right through the station. So I added some warnings here. Because if you go over here, you have radiation. And that is mainly because, like, there's all this um, raw uranium going in here, coming from under the ground. Let's give a quick tour here. So I have four blenders. And one blender to keep the balance, basically. So this can just create uh, stuff that is going to the um, awesome sink over there. So the idea is that if I need to be here and I want to change the base, I can go to this nice little 
uh, uranium cell control house which gets sulfur from that sulfur factory over there so I can control the sulfur that goes in here and I can basically purge the rods which will purge all the created uh, rods into that blender over there and when they are all gone um, I also enable uh, this thing is it this thing? yeah which stops the uranium mines and basically the whole base gets purged and doesn't have any uh, uranium and nuclear stuff in it so then all nuclear radiation will disappear it's not really needed anymore because I have enough uh, of these nuclear uh, gas filters to be here for a long time um, as I said this is the sulfur factory well, you can see from the top all the blenders there is the other station for this area um, and then my latest addition so here is the water power I would say also just to not worry about having to pump everything up just pump it up one time and the rest of the base just have enough uh, water pressure to to be using it all that water is coming from here oh, I in the distance the battery factory again so this is my latest uh, thing it's a plutonium pellet factory also with some nice control tower in it and that is to basically get rid of the nuclear waste so I put some instructions what to do to get the base nuclear free of radiation so there is this tower here which drones will land on same over there that is where so the left one is where drones come in flying in and they will drop their nuclear waste in here but if I want to get rid of the nuclear waste I can transfer it back using that other uh, drone tower over there you cannot really see it with the glass but there it is and also this can also uh, yeah it's set up to be purchable but not the whole area is getting radiation and still some room to expand if needed but I don't really need it because as you can see I completed phase 4 it's ready for phase 4 So the station here, also some trees or whatever they are spawned in my base. Um, yeah, I will go to the other station very quick to just show it. It's not a lot to see.
Oh, there's just coming a train going out. We we'll also hear trains. I like trains. And some belt coming from that cave that is uh, another ground. Uh, if everything is correct, you can see the other aluminium factory over there. I'm not sure if you can see it. Oh, there it is. But we will go there later. So let's do the other part for the where the nuclear power plants are the next time in part three. So for now I go back and see you next time.